This is Cowcat, the Cowcatster. It has been about 15 hours since the Oscars. Um, even though this hideous cold seems to be a 24 hour one, that's lovely. Or maybe it'll be 72. It'll be 48 probably because it's on its way out. I decided to do. to go over the Oscars. Last night, I did not actually see them. This is. these are the, the winners of the Oscars. Uh, best picture of the year went to a film called Spotlight, which was about priests, uh, the guy that had a scandal about the pedo priests, dirty priests that were having sex with young men and boys. Uh, Oscar likes that kind of stuff, so yeah. Um, uh, I hear that it actually ends kind of gloomy. I'm not going to give it away, but <laughs> but Pope Benedict did leave the Vatican during that time period, so apparently it even reached the Vatican. It may have not been his reason for leaving, other things happened, but but yeah, they had to get another Pope, and now there's another one. Uh, so, yeah. Um, so, that sounds like the kind of movie Oscar would like. Uh, it's unfortunate that the, the that that they could not see past, the Oscar guys could not see past uh, the awesomeness that was uh, the, the Revenant or or the Mad Max and and uh, the other or even somewhat the Martian and give it the award. I thought the Revenant was going to win, uh, even though I said my favorite to win would be the other one, the Revenant. But the, no, the Revenant did not win. And now we come to I'm reading from the New York Times, incidentally, from their website. Um, that's where I got it information this morning. Maybe not where I got the information from the blog. Now, um, best director, um, Revenant, Alejandro Inaratu. Inaratu. Alejandro Inaratu, um, the guy who won last year for Birdman, won this year for The Revenant. I thought it would be Ridley Scott, but since they called it him, then, yeah, it's not going to be Ridley Scott. It's going to be The Revenant, which I thought, oh, it's going to be The Revenant then, right? Because... Usually director goes with movie. The director wins, then the movie wins. In this case, they pulled a fast one, and they said, Spotlight wins. And I don't think there's any general consensus that Spotlight should have won at all. Uh, I mean, I guess it's a good movie, but but it's not crowd-pleasing in any, any way. It was not aired in my area, except maybe in the art house theaters. I would have seen it. Uh, um, so, uh, there's a couple other choices there that, that didn't go up. They didn't This year they didn't re-release the Oscar movies before the Oscars to get people to watch them. <laughs> to get people to watch them again. This year they didn't do that. So they're just like, oh, Spotlight, really? You guys just didn't want to give it to Mad Max or The Revenant for whatever reason. Spotlight, yeah. Um, but... Let's see, what's the next one here? Okay, we have actor. Even though there have been several movies with this particular actor and him not getting an Oscar, uh, he didn't get one for Titanic. <laughs> he didn't get one for Departed and some of the Gangs of New York. Gangs of New York didn't deserve to get an Oscar for anything. It got nominated, but it didn't really deserve it. Costumes, I guess. Setting, I guess. I think that's what it won for. Um, Leo DiCaprio won last night for The Revenant. Tom Hardy should have gotten the award for Mad Max, but it was Leo DiCaprio. They decided to, I guess, fall in line with some of the public that was backing for Leo DiCaprio to win the Oscar. My picks are hardly ever their picks, but he was my second choice. So Leo DiCaprio is uh, one for Best Actor. Well, for his ability to act like he's completely mutilated and uh, rummage through the snow in a movie. Uh, that The Oscar people probably fell asleep watching and just said, Hey, uh, yeah, this was good. <laughs> I had watched only the Red Letter Media thing last night. Um, I didn't watch the Oscars. They, they ripped on this movie, The Room, with Brie Larson in it. And they said, A Room, not The Room. The Room is with Tommy Wiseau. Hi, Oscar. But no, no, it's not. He's not going to win an Oscar. Well, it would have been hilarious if he showed up and he's like, I thought I won the Oscar for my movie from 2003. Oh, the Oscar. 
No, you didn't. Get out of here. Uh, they did get Chris Rock to host it because they, they, all the controversy associating with black actors not getting a lot of parts this year. In other past Oscar shows, they've given them quite a lot, actually, so I don't know what they're complaining about. <laughs> they've given them a lot. They, they've even given them the, the, the Best Actor and Best Actress Awards before, so it's not like they're completely left out. But this year, they kind of were. Or the Hateful Eight should have been recognized. Creed should have been recognized. It wasn't at all. Um, I guess there should have been a few others that should have been recognized, but weren't. Uh, Straight Out of Compton should have been recognized. They completely blew over that one. But they don't watch rap. They're old guys. They're, you know, Oscar guys are old. Um, yeah, so the award for Best Actress went to Brie Larson for Room. Not The Room, Room. Room is a dreary movie that did come out in art theaters, but not, not in wide release. We had another RC movie uh, about this girl and her little boy that are trapped inside a room through the whole half of the movie, and then they get out and they have to adapt to the world. They're trapped there by a crazy guy. Uh, sounds like a, an existential weird sort of thing. Uh, and Red Letter Media made fun of it. And, uh, although, actually, they kind of called that, um, yeah, so, so she won as Best Actress. Uh, they're snubbing Kate Blanchett and snubbing Jennifer Lawrence. They, Kate Blanchett must have got somebody mad, so they wouldn't do it. Uh, Jennifer Lawrence must have... Mm. The winner for Best Original Screenplay is Spotlight, and that's the movie about the... The, uh, the priests. Um, the paper that routes the priests. Um, let's see. The best adapted screenplay was The Big Short. That was about communism in Hollywood. Similar to Hail Caesar in plot. However, Hail Caesar wasn't about to get an Oscar. Um, uh, best supporting actress went to Alicia Vikander. Uh, I'll say it. I'll say it's Swedish. That way I can say it. Alicia Vikander. Yes, and I can say it. Um, <laughs> pull out some Friesen jeans that I have back there. I can say it then. Alicia Vikander. So um, she's um, over Jennifer Jason Lee from The Hateful Eight, who probably deserved it. Um, let's see. Earlier I had mentioned Best Actress and why they won, but. Um, I don't really need to redo that. I basically just mentioned that 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 Jennifer Lawrence ticked off some people at the Globes. That's probably why she didn't get it. But really, Joy didn't deserve the Oscar. It's a feel-good movie that that got the Critics' Choice, but nah, not Best Actress. And Alicia Vikander, um, getting supporting actress. Like, ironically, Red Letter Media was making fun of the movies. And and Jay from Red Letter Media, Jay Bonham, he was all, he's like, you know what? They're probably going to give it to Alicia Vikander because because that movie is like no one's seen it, and it's about another immigrant person. It's not the it's not Sarice Ronan because I don't like her. Uh, so so I'm just going to give it to her. And like even though Sarice Ronan was actress and she didn't win anyway because I don't know maybe she's too young, maybe they didn't like that, maybe maybe she didn't have enough connections. I don't know. That's probably the connections thing. Is probably age is probably not a problem. They've given younger actors that. So supporting actress, uh, they had to choose from one or the other of the movies. So they chose Alicia Vikander, who's relatively new. Red Letter Media was being sarcastic, whereas they 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 were right on. Um, um, best co best costume design went to Mad Max Fury Road, even though actually The Revenant probably could have won that too. Production design went to Mad Max Fury Road. Production design. Makeup and hair went to Mad Max Fury Road, even though I would say the hair in The Revenant was kind of cool, too. Uh, uh, cinematography went to The Revenant. It doesn't deserve it, necessarily. It was it was a very pretty movie, but, but if anything, it should have been Mad Max. But they probably didn't sit through that movie for very long. It was an action picture. Best editing went to Mad Max. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, that's what it makes sense. Best sound editing went to Mad Max. Okay. Um, sound mixing went to Mad Max. 
um, yeah. visual effects went to Ex Machina. Probably because it was a dreary, long movie. Not a bad movie, it's just very dreary, and it has two or three people in it, and the Oscars were paying attention. It could have won some other awards, actually. I don't really know. <clears throat> Best animated film goes to Inside Out. Despite someone at the church saying they didn't like it. There's probably only one on Earth that didn't like it. Um, yeah, Inside Out. Um, animated short went to Bear Story. Never heard of it. Um, then we come to Best Supporting Actor. Mark Rylance, who won for The Bridge of Spies, which Red Letter Media ripped on because it was just kind of dull and boring. Well, Oscar loves that kind of stuff. Of course they're going to give it an award. He couldn't give it to the movie because it's Steven Spielberg and he's one of the Oscar guys, so they couldn't say, you win. So they said, okay, one of your actors wins. Your supporting actor, Rylance, who's a new, an up-and-coming new one, so why not? They wanted to appear hip. But really, that's a snub to Tom Hardy, who got nominated for actor for Fury Road and for, didn't get it, and for The Revenant, where he did an awesome job, better than DiCaprio, playing the bad guy in that movie. He he totally nails that part. It's like ridiculous. How awesome that is. Documentary. Amy. Never heard of it. Um short documentary. Girl in the River. Um, short film. Stutter. Foreign language film. Son of Saul. Original score. Ilana Mitchu Hateful Eight. Butchered that name. The guy from the Hateful Eight. Best original song. Um, writing on the Wall from Spectre. Best original song, Writing on the Wall from Spectre. Doesn't deserve it. Why is that the best original song of the year? I don't think oh, that wasn't that great. Not even there. Well, I certainly wouldn't have picked that shitty Earned It song from Fifty Shades of Grey. I don't know why that's on there. I haven't even heard of these other movies that are getting the song. So. Fifty Shades of Grey should not have any nominations for anything. That movie was awful. Ugh. Best Director went to Alejandro Gonzalez Inatu for The Revenant. And I said earlier that Best Actress was Brie Larson for Brooklyn. Room. Brie Larson for Room. And Over Sir Ice Ronan was my choice for that. Yes. Because I, yeah, knew of somebody looked like her. That's not a good enough reason, but okay. Um, best actor, I actually picked the other guy. In closing the Oscar adventure here, uh, yeah, again, it's by the numbers. Red Letter Media nailed it on many occasions there. Um, I did not so much. I'm more about the Critics Choice, Rotten Tomatoes score thing. The more about, like, you know, like, oh, the popularity of the movie makes it an Oscar movie. Yay! Which then would put... Mad Max at the best picture of the year, if you did that, or The Martian. Uh, if you wanted to say best popular movie of the year, it'd be Star Wars Episode Seven, even though some would say it's a little overrated, but I liked it, so it's fine. Uh, and then hyping, hyping it but not getting paid, uh, just typing it because we wanted to. Uh, yeah, so, but yeah, Mad Max, uh, The Martian. The Martian wasn't going to win because it was not this year's Gravity, it wasn't this year's Interstellar. This wasn't going to win. It would have been nice if it had won something, uh, maybe actor for Matt Damon, but I guess we were in agreement with Red Letter Media in that the Oscar people figured he wasn't acting, he's just being Matt Damon. There is some truth to that. However, Leo DiCaprio was also doing just being Leo DiCaprio. He can play an angry guy on a, on a, on a mountain. 88th Oscars, I'll see you at the 90th Oscars. <laughs> now we got to cover 89th first, when Star Trek Chimera wins Best um, Animated Film. Yeah, sure. Um, <laughs> but, but then 1990. Uh, yeah, animated film that we can't actually charge any money for. Yeah. But, you know, in Hollywood, it's there's an old saying that, I, that was mentioned on James Silent Bob, but, but even earlier than that, and mentioned in the Hollywood circles. Who you know, who you blow, and who you share blow with. Yeah, so that's what Hollywood's about. So if you know somebody, it's who it's your connections. It's who you have sex with, or who you share drugs with. High price drugs. And not in Hollywood, so I wouldn't know this to be true or not, but I heard that some ex-Hollywood types said, oh yeah, that's totally what was going on. And in big corporations as well. 
there's big computer companies out there that also do that that credo as well uh, that that have like you know, like drug parties and stuff <laughs> they totally do it's like yeah <laughs> but no not here KTS yes you know hmm it's cold we've gone away in a while but anyway um yeah so I sound like I'm stoned but no it's a cold Anyway, so that is my review of the 88th Oscars. Uh, this year was pretty slim pickings for movies. They couldn't even pick ten of them. I would have thrown the other two in there. Star Wars and the other one. But they didn't do that. They weren't doing the popularity thing. They were deliberately trying not to do movies that Kelcat actually saw. No. Well, popular people are. <sighs> They're trying not to do action movies, not to do sci-fi movies, not to do comedies. Although Spy probably should have got something. <laughs> it was clever. Oh, well, yeah. Um, and I think they just forgot about Mad Max. It came out in the summer. You know. <laughs> they gave it awards, but I don't think they watched a, a frame of it. <laughs> you know, They watched the trailer. Oh, this looks cool. <laughs> yes, the Oscar people have been accused of that, too. It was like, you just watched the trailers. You didn't even watch the whole movie. <laughs> But yeah, um, so as far as I'm concerned, Best Picture was probably, if I'm going to take the Oscar route, Best Picture was actually The Revenant. Take the Oscar route. And and uh, although popularity-wise, it was The Martian. And although action-wise, it was the Mad Max. And, and fantasy, feel-good movie-wise, Star Wars, Episode 7, and that's the people's choice.